Information, be it good or bad, forms thinking patterns that can govern how we act and react in life. Those of us who are married entered it with different mindsets based on information provided, gathered, and taught to us. How we function in our marriage stems from those thought patterns that we develop from that information. For example, and I'm going to share some information with you now regarding marriage. And I want you to pay attention to how current thoughts are challenged or new thoughts are developed. Okay, here we go. In studying chapter 10 of Genesis, I mean, excuse me, in studying chapter 1 of Genesis, you'll see that everything God declared was good had the ability to produce and sustain life or light. Now, this is also true of God's gift of a woman. Inside of her is good, or life, light, that a man needs. That's why Proverbs declares, if any man finds a wife, he finds good. The word thing was added in later translations. The Hebrew word translated fine means to discover something valuable. This suggests a process of unearthing, uncovering, and discovering. The problem today is we are not discerning or thinking right concerning this process God instituted. Remember what Proverbs said, the wise man Solomon pinned down? He said, if any man finds a wife, he finds good. You will never find anything you're not looking for. And most men have not been conditioned to look inside or examine the soul of a woman. Our focus has been external and that's how we've been uh, uh, developed or trained or influenced to do. Therefore, Men are marrying women who have another man's wife inside of them. And soon the two become frustrated because the helper in her, the wife, is not being discovered or unearthed because there is no discerning of her. And therefore she is not activated because there is no recognition of her Adam's voice. 